Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing another how-to video and I'm sure you've already guessed from the title. Today's video is going to be about how to respond to hate. Now by hate, I'm gonna be focusing mainly on the social media aspect and like receiving hate online on different social media platforms and just how to respond to people who leave negative, hateful, hurtful comments and maybe to help you better understand where it's most likely all coming from. So first of all, when dealing with specifically, we'll say hate comments, whether it's on a YouTube video, an Instagram photo, a TikTok, whatever it may be, don't delete it. One of the reasons being obviously more than likely there's going to be a copy of this comment somewhere on the internet, whether it's through a screenshot or like a webcast and it can kind of just almost make it worse because potentially you're deleting a critical question, which, which then diffuses a lot more hate than the initial problem. Plus you haven't solved the problem if you're deleting it. Furthermore, I say don't delete it because it just shows how hateful or even obsessive a certain individual might be by commenting these different things. Now, with that being said, if it is something like racist, sexist, or something that you just really don't want to be linked to or a part of or seen in regards to something that you've uploaded or posted, then by all means, you always have the power to delete it, but I wouldn't say that's always the initial response if someone comments some sort of hate and you delete it. There's been, I'd say, probably a handful of instances even on my YouTube channel, for example, on different videos that people have commented and I really have never deleted them. I think I deleted a couple comments that had like a link that I think would maybe give someone a virus or something if they clicked on it, but anyone that's commented being like, you're ugly or you're not funny or your videos are stupid. I just leave it up because honestly, A, I don't care. B, I think that says a lot more about them than myself because they're commenting on my video. And I always find that to be like the funniest thing of all hate ever spewed on the internet is when someone's commenting on a picture, a video, whatever it may be, calling you ugly or making some comment about your appearance, like a negative comment about your appearance, or that you're not funny or the video is dumb or whatever, because that person not only took time out of their day to make a comment, but they obviously are consuming what you're putting out there. If you think my photo's ugly, just be like, mm and move on. You're actually taking the time to sit there and be like, I need to tell her. I don't care, I'm still gonna post it because I don't think that I'm what you're saying. So that stuff doesn't bother me. I feel like that's honestly gonna be the main takeaway of this video is don't let that <laughs> bother you because it doesn't mean anything. People that say things behind a phone screen are cowards, they're weak, they're just, they're losers. At least respect me enough or I would have enough respect for you that you would come and say that to me and I'd be like, okay, at least you said it to my face. But people that hide behind phone screens, it's, embarrassing and pathetic. So what I'm saying is you gotta understand where it's coming from. Typically people are commenting this kind of hate because they're insecure themselves, they're jealous, they're just genuinely mean people. But that's why it's like, don't delete it. I almost am like a weird that way kind of like it. I'm like, you're commenting hate on my video. I feel like you have to really be doing something right potentially to be commenting hate. Now, with that being said, if someone is commenting on your video being like, you're making very racist remarks, that's very sexist, that's not hate or they're hating on me. No more than likely you're saying up things and you need to fix that and apologize. But if someone's just commenting being like, you're a dumb, stupid looking oh no, I'm gonna cry. And some people do and that's the thing. That's why this honestly needs to stop because sometimes you do make the comments to people and they take them personally and they might do something or react in a certain way that's just really bad. But I'm here to tell you, try your best not to take it personally because those people, they don't know what the they're saying. Anyone comments hate on my video or they talk to me on my videos, I'm like, thank you for watching them. Thank you for the view. Thank you for taking time out of your day to consume the content I'm putting out there that you hate. People hate watch. Like I think honestly, I've probably done it a few times too with certain YouTubers or whatever. Like they're so cringy. And just embarrassing, you're like, oh my God, like this is so bad. But I don't leave the hate comments. I just laugh and keep it moving where there are people that like let it consume them. I feel like I got on a little bit of a tangent there. I apologize. Moving forward, aside from not deleting it, laugh about it. Be like, oh, did you mean to comment this? Comment do you know, do you know who, you're who you're talking to? Talking? Like literally just turn it into a joke because nobody can embarrass you unless you let them embarrass you. Nobody can make you feel something unless you allow them to make you feel that way. So if they're calling me an ugly cow, I'm gonna laugh and be like, okay, even if I was, even if I was like absolutely hideous looking and I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm the most beautiful woman in the world, but like, I'm not like lively, but like, just so you know, yeah, I think she's probably one of the prettiest women to walk this earth or Megan Fox, but I digress. But I don't think that I am like disgusting. So if you're saying that to me and I don't think that to be true, but even if I was and I don't think that to be true, I'm gonna laugh at you or be like, ha yeah, it is true, I'm so ugly and LOL. I just took away all the power that you have because I think that it's funny now and I turned it into a joke so you're not hurting me anymore. Or even if it is something, like uh, they're commenting on something embarrassing that you did or something a little cringy, laugh about it and be like, oh, you know what? You're right, yeah, that was kind of cringy, that was embarrassing. What are they gonna do? They just tried to hate on you and make you upset and make you feel bad about yourself and you're like laughing with them. Now, as hard as it may be sometimes, I will also say, try your best to be mature about it. Try not to comment anything back, like any rebuttal or chirping them back or sending them hate back. I find that just to be a little immature 
and you're really letting them get to you and you're showing them that they got to you by doing that. Instead of replying with something funny or just not replying at all, or just giving a little like or something, you're feeding into it. So that brings me into my next point as well as be mature. Don't feed into it. Don't feed into the trolls. Like laughter really is the best medicine because if you're laughing about it and you're not hurt, you're not upset and you don't care, you just took away all the power that they thought that they had. It doesn't matter even if you tried to like explain to them anything or whatever, gave like a calm reply, anything like that. They don't care about that because it's not what they're looking for. They're looking for you to come back at them and like pitch back at them and be rude to them and just fuel that fire. Whereas if you just laugh it off or just don't even engage or don't respond, you win every time, 10 out of 10 times. Like anytime I see someone on TikTok or whatever platform responding to a hate comment. Now, like I said earlier, if they're responding to a hate comment that was like racially motivated and it was racist, it was sexist, it was any sort of those things, like it was transphobic, homophobic, anything like that. And it was just slander and just completely disgusting and inappropriate. Then 100%, I think that addressing it in a calm manner, like I know on TikTok people will put the comment up and, and make a video and they'll talk about it. I think that's great. Addressing it being like, this person is saying this disgusting shit. Like, what is this? 100%, but if it's just someone being like, you're not funny, you're not talented, you're ugly, then you just ignore it. Don't go making a video about it. Cause again, doing that is you engaging. You're giving that person everything they could have ever dreamed of. You're focusing on their hate comment. You also have to, I guess I'll just try and put it very simply, like love the hate. Because as I mentioned earlier, typically these are people that are commenting on your stuff Again, if they're just calling you dumb, stupid, ugly, because they're jealous. People say and do vindictive things out of fear of jealousy. I feel like I've said that a lot of times on my channel and I'm gonna say it again because it never stops being true. The people that are saying stuff like that, that aren't giving you any sort of critique or constructive criticism or calling you out on bad behavior or slander, whatever it may be, they're just calling you dumb and stupid and annoying. Most likely they're jealous of you. So you kind of gotta almost try and take it as a compliment and be like, you know, as I said, you're taking your time to watch my video, comment on my stuff and tell me how much you hate me. But that takes way more energy than just not viewing my stuff, pretending I don't exist and not commenting on it and just keeping it moving. Now, with that being said, I think that some people get a little carried away. People that maybe would show narcissistic tendencies. If you haven't seen my how to spot narcissist video, you can go watch that. But where people will start loving the hate like too much and people that people that think like any press is good press or all publicity is good publicity. I don't really believe in that. I mean, maybe if you're like Kim Kardashian, like the Kardashian Jenner clan, like your celebrity, sure, maybe because then people are talking about you, but like our day-to-day -day life with people just like, you know, that you see like your friends, your peers and your family and stuff, like not all press is good press. If people are saying that you're a really mean or bad person, I don't know, I personally wouldn't want that going around about me because that's not a very nice thing. Because you're also not gaining anything from it. At least celebrities gain a bit of clout or people are talking about them. So maybe they'll sell more albums or sell more clothes or get more views on whatever. Whereas when you're just like an average person, just live an average where all of us are, what are you gaining from that? People are just talking poorly about you because they don't like you as a person. You're not gonna have any friends. Honestly, that might even affect you trying to do things in life, like start a career, get a job, like anything. So it can kind of be a little bit of a toxic mindset if you do think like that, like to that extent. But dialing it back, like I said, kind of just, laugh it off and be like, I love that you're spending so much time hating me right now. Like putting so much time and energy into it. It's just embarrassing. Like you're, you're really obsessed. <laughs> I feel like that is all I have to say about that. So that will be all for today's video. Main takeaway is just, you know what? Laugh it off. Don't feed into it. Know your worth and don't worry necessarily about what everyone is saying about you. If you know you're a good person and your friends and family know you are and you are a good person, Keep doing you, the haters are gonna hate, who cares? Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down below if anyone's ever left you hate on any of your social media platforms and what did they say, I'd love to know. And always feel free to comment hate on my videos. I like it, it fuels my fire. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching. As always, subscribe for more weekly content for me and you can hit that notification bell down below to be notified when I upload every Friday. That is it, I'll see you guys in the next one, bye guys.